Hey, what's up guys? We're the Chainlift. He's Mark. I'm Adam. We're back with another Coaster Spotlight video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the awesome Phantom's Revenge at Kennywood, located in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. It's just outside of Pittsburgh. It's quite a little town there, West Mifflin. Very, very steep hills. Yeah, very industrial Very too. narrow streets. Narrow streets. Very industrial. It's got a cool vibe. It does have a cool vibe. Yeah. I love Pittsburgh, yeah, folks. It's a cool town. Big fan. Uh, so we're going to give you the stats, the history, and our thoughts about Fam's Revenge. And at the end of the video, we're going to give it a ranking on a scale of 1 to 10 using Coaster Board. That's right. So originally, Fam's Revenge opened up in 1991. It opened up to two record-breaking coaster stats. Yeah. And I know I had the speed. Yep. Top speed was Top it? Top speed. Was it 85? No, 80. 80 miles per hour originally, and the drop was 225, beating the perfect Magnum XL200 at Cedar yeah. Point. Yeah. Um, so then 2001, they shifted it to Phantom's Revenge and painted it teal. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so they, yeah, Arrow originally designed Steel Phantom. They brought in Morgan to do this revamp yep. of Phantom's, or Steel Phantom, into Phantom's Revenge. They got rid of those inversions because they were giving people neck pain. And their ears were bleeding from their earrings. Yeah, you had to take out your earrings from the neck banging and the head banging and the, with the over-the-shoulder yep. restraints. We're not joking. They literally mm -hmm. checked your ears before, before they sent the train to make yeah. sure you didn't have earrings in. Yeah. It's crazy. You don't want to come back with bloody ears. We all know those old arrow uh, head banging uh, restraints. Oh, yeah. Not fun. They're bad. So with Fam's Revenge, you just got a lap restraint, super comfortable trains. Very ugly trains. They're, I think they're they're unique and kind of cool looking in their, in their own way. Yeah, they're very ugly. <laughs> See, let's, let's finish the stats, though. Yeah, let's talk about the stats of Phantom's Revenge. Phantom's Revenge. It's teal. It has a height of 160 feet. Mm -hmm. It has a drop of 228 feet, which would be the second drop yeah. into the ravine. Yep. It has a 52-degree angle, top speed of 85 miles per hour, length 3,200 feet, and a duration of 157. Yeah. And... Yeah, at one point it was ranked number five as best steel coaster in 2011. That's as high as it got. It's yeah, five. That's pretty, pretty good. Pretty awesome, 2011. Ticket, yeah. There was a lot of good stuff out of it by 2011. Yeah, and aside from number five, it's been uh, very often like the top 15 range. Oh, yeah. Like, deservedly so. Yeah. It's Spoiler excellent. alert, it's going to get a high score. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. So, Fans Revenge. One of my favorite things about Fans Revenge is the fact that the biggest drop on the ride is the second drop. Yep. And you drop down into the ravine. Under Thunderbolt, it's awesome, especially at nighttime, because you're just dropping into pitch black. Yes. It is legitimately one of the best night rides you can have. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my favorite night ride. I agree. One of the best night rides uh, you can have on any coaster in the world. And honestly, it might be my favorite nighttime yeah, ride. Sorry, great. Beast fans. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's it's definitely it's so unique because this coaster was built for that terrain. Like you yep. couldn't take this coaster and put it anywhere else and have the same experience because uh, you're dropping down into like the pitch black ravine and like it, it was built like to hug the terrain in a lot of spots. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the first lift hill into the you know, dropping down that straightaway going into the second. Drop is it's one of the coolest things I've, yeah. I've ever seen. I mean, mm. how many coasters have the second drop is the biggest drop? There cannot be very many. Yeah, I can't think of any off the top of my head. I'm sure there might be one or two other ones out there, but it's it's a very mm. unique coaster. It yeah. really stands out. It's so big. It's yeah, huge it looking. Is. And if you've been to the park, you Kennywood's parking lot is cool. It's kind of across the street from the park, and it's up a little bit higher, so you get a great view of the whole park. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Phantom's Revenge sticks out. I mean, so obviously they have steel curtains, so that sticks out, but just seeing uh, Phantom's Revenge in the skyline, it looks great. Yeah, and another thing when you talk about Phantom's Revenge you have to mention is the glorious ejector airtime in this thing. So the entire back half, once you kind of go through the tunnel, uh, passing underneath Thunderbolt, it's nothing but ejector airtime, <laughs> yeah. and it is violent ejector airtime. It is when this ride's <clears throat> riding at its best. Holy crap! Yeah, yeah. I think of any coaster, this has uh, the best ejector airtime that I've ever experienced. And the first time I rode it, I wasn't sure what to expect, and it's just like nonstop all the way into the final brake run. Yes. There's like one little extra pop of air that caught me off guard and hurt my neck a little bit. <laughs> what? 
why, why, why I think the trains are very ugly. I mean, it really yeah. doesn't matter the scheme of things, but Morgan put these these um, the restraints. It's just sort of like it's this like a thing cushion, on a side. like lap bar, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a, like a little <laughs> cushion thing. So yeah. it's not actually all over you. It's just like this little side yeah. thing. Yeah. But it makes the of course you have a seatbelt too. But yeah. it makes the airtime, the eject airtime, so much more violent because you can just fly up so much more without yeah. so much holding you down. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the uh, the seats. I think they're the trains are pretty comfortable, like really comfortable. Yeah, they're really comfortable yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. Yep, the ride the ride's really smooth. I've rode it at least at this point. I think I've rode it probably eight to ten times, and mm -hmm. I have never had a rough ride on it. I've sat every every seat, front, back, middle, you name it. It's super smooth. Yeah, um, the ejector airtime feels really good. It doesn't like it's 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 violent, but like it's good violent though. Yeah, it's comfortable violence. Yes, uh, yeah. it's again. It feels like it's going faster than any five miles per hour. When it's really running, it feels like it feels faster. Yeah, it feels out of control in all the best ways. Mm -hmm. Well, especially it feels fast when you're like so close to the ground and you interact with Thunderbolt a couple times, and so there's like a lot of kind of like head chopper moments yep. and near misses and all sorts of like really cool, unique stuff. And you get really great views of uh, the West Mifflin area. There's like a little river there, and on the other side of the river, there's a steel plant. Yeah, there's a big gorgeous steel plant across the river, and like you could see, like all these yeah. cool lights on it. But it, like if it's the vibe of yes. the area. It's very cool. Like a really, really unique experience. It that's, is. That's why it's one of my favorite coasters. There's a reason why it still sticks around. It's, yeah. it's kind of sort of legendary. Like I put it with Magnum mm -hmm. and I put it with Beast. Yeah. To me, Phantom's Revenge is in that echelon of coasters where it's just legendary status. Oh, yeah. And it's never going to, it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. it. It's still gives top elite rides mm -hmm. um it does yeah absolutely i think i'm gonna rank it yeah easy one for me i'll go first 10 out of 10 it's a perfect coaster uh there's nothing there's nothing i i can think like well they did this a little bit different mm -hmm. they did that a little different the ride never slows down yeah it's paced to perfection oh yeah it's unique it's charming um there's uh, like catch hours of the tunnel, uh, it hugs terrain, it flies to the midway. Yeah. Um, it's the the train's comfortable. Yeah. It looks amazing. It's it is a coaster that has to be on your bucket list. Oh yeah. If you've never rode it, Kenny you have to ride it. To be on your bucket list, it's yeah. a great park. Very uh, very historical charming. wooden coasters and everything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, my turn. Ten out of ten. I agree with everything you said. Uh, it's a great coaster. It's uh, it's my third favorite coaster. Um, it could easily be number one some days. Like th when I think about it, it's just it's that good. But um, yeah, ten out of ten. Definitely ride it if you haven't been out to Kennywood to ride it because it's it's unbelievable. It's an experience. Yeah. Grab your sickle. Grab a robe. <laughs> and, and go ride it. Revenge. Wonder if they'd let you ride it with a sickle. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> kind of questions that. Of course they wouldn't. You can't even wear earrings anymore. You they have, they, why don't they sell sickles, plastic ones, in the gift shop? Because people would hit each other. Well, they're like foam ones. Uh, anyway, can can if you're watching, make some foam sickles. Yeah, look into that. Anyways, yeah. that's Phantom's Revenge. If you've been on it, let us know what you think about it. Yep. Let us know what you think about Kennywood. It's an awesome park. Awesome Love park. Kennywood. Yep. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Leave a comment. Find us on Twitter and Instagram. Find our store and buy some shirts. If you're new to the channel, you're having fun. We got a, like a million. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm exaggerating. Yeah. Uh -huh. But we got lots and lots and lots and lots of videos. Go to that yeah. coaster spotlight folder. Go to the. Just watch them all. Watch them all. And comment every one. And we'll, we'll be right back all either, the time. Either you're time. going to love us more or you're going to hate us more. Whatever way, <laughs> either though. Way, that's fine. We appreciate you giving us Check a try. Check us out. All right, guys. We will see you in the next video. Phantom out.